Oh no. Um, I don't think this is supposed to happen. Hi friends, and welcome back to Raft. Today I had another harebrained idea, and we're just gonna see how far I can take it. So recently I've been playing around a lot with the Voyage mod, which directly correlates the size of your raft to the speed at which it travels. So if I switch this into peaceful, just so that Jeremiah doesn't eat us, we'll see that we're traveling in this direction. So our speed is about 1.7. And if I destroy these guys, we're speeding up. And if I destroy even more, ooh, and manage to fall off my raft, because of course, we're already going steadily faster. This means that the smaller our raft is, the faster it's gonna go. But also, the voyage mod as we've established, if we go ahead and add a sail, means that we go a lot faster with the sails given our raft weight. So, today I wanna see how far we can push this. I wanna see just how fast we can possibly go in raft, using as many sails as we possibly can on the smallest raft. Realistically, I just want to push it to the limits and see just how fast I can physically go. And I don't know what form that's going to take. I don't know what this is going to look like, but we're going to find out. So through a bit of experimentation, I've learned that the smallest draft you are supposed to have is this little 2i1, right? And we know that this thing is technically a little slower than our just two foundation, but I want to put as many sails as humanly possible on this, so we're going to need a little bit more surface area. And by that, I mean we're going to go up and see just how many darn sails I can add to this. And yeah, we're using aesthetic wood, because why not? It actually doesn't make a difference into what foundation you use, it just looks better. So we're just going to go ahead and place a ton of sails and see how fast this bad boy goes. Okay, we've managed to place a few sails. This is as many as I could fit. It's not terribly organized, so I'm sure I could have fit like one or two sails more if I had organized them a little better, but that's fine. Using our friend the handy dandy easy interactions bot, we can however open all these sails at the same time. And now we're going a steady 45-ish meters per second. Not bad, not bad. Definitely not as good as just plopping down a sail on a random plank in the ocean. But I think we can go a little bit further. I think I've worked out the optimal strategy for placing as many sails as I can in a combined area. So if I just line them all up like this. For some reason that's allowed. That, that's just normal raft building mechanics. So if we just make a few lines of continuous sails, we should be able to fit like a decent number on any given level. Okay. Using that new technique, I think I've placed about as many sails as I can on this level, and it actually has the added benefit that I can actually walk through all of them, which is kind of nice, honestly, because I definitely can't do that down here. You know, when I started this, I didn't really think about how painful it would be to open every individual sail, but here we are. Okay, I've got like 80-ish open sails around on our raft, so if we just go ahead and do a little bit- oh! Okay, so we're, we're going faster. We're now going at around like 140-ish meters a second. So I wonder what the ratio of like adding raft weight to adding sails is. Oh, well, that's an island. But of course, we're going to do it again because why not? You know, I'm continually impressed by how easy it is to actually navigate this raft because otherwise it seems like it would just be flat out impossible to open all of these. It is getting progressively harder to open all of these without just falling off the top. But we're gonna keep going. Okay, we've got four tiers of sails up and active. So if I remove this anchor... Oh, that was 2000. We love that. We love that. It looks like this is actually slightly slower. It looks like it's like 130-ish. So I think we may have hit the cap for where white raft weight outweighs I'm going to add one or two more tiers just to see if it makes a difference, and I'll see you back in a second. Okay, before I show you just how fast this is, I need you to appreciate how weird it looks. So we've got little me down here on the bottom, and some weird enigma over there that we're not going to think about. And then if we start going up, we've got our first two layers that were pretty fast. We've got our third layer, which is where things started to get serious, and then we've got two more because why not? 
So, yeah, here we go. Let's just, let's just see. Five layers of sails, around 500 sails in total. Let's see just how fast we go. Oh. Oh, that's actually really disappointing. I'm not entirely sure that our stats mod up top is reading correctly, although it might be given the speed at which that island went bye-bye. So let me check it with one more thing and we'll be right back. No, apparently it was reading right, so we are going about 130 meters per second. But I have one more idea to just make us go a tiny bit faster. So it occurred to me that the base speed of our raft with the Voyage mod and just a little 2x1 is about 2.5 meters per second. It also occurred to me that I've been using the Building Utilities mod just to make my life a tiny bit easier when it comes to placing all of this. And if I put one singular sail down on this tiny 2x2 plank, we're already going an appreciable 60 meters per second. Which is around half as fast as we were already going, oh, hello island, with the entirety of our massive 500 sails mod. However, because raft weight plays such a huge part into how fast you go using the voyage mod, what if I just use the utilities mod to just place down all of the sails in the same spot? So, we're gonna try that for a little bit, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, I've tested around 50 test sails just to see if this is gonna work, and we're back to using our friend the Easy Interactions mod to see if I can open all the sails at once. So let's go ahead and remove our anchor, and see if this goes. Oh, it seems to work! And, oh boy, oh boy, I think we just went through an island. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. Um, so I would say this is a tiny bit faster. I really can't tell what the average of that is, but we're going fast. So, you know what that means. Let's do some more. My wrist is very not happy about this situation, but you know, we just, we gotta go further beyond. I gotta know. We've got around 500 sails right there. I can already tell you that my game is not happy with us. So... Let's do it anyways. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, that's 17,000 meters per second. 23,000 meters per second. Um, oh, 87,000? So it seems like we're holding steady around 23,000 meters per second. That's, that's pretty fast, but let's just place with the rest of the sails just to see what happens. I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea, but you know what? We're here. May as well to get through to the end. This is taking a lot longer than I care to admit. Okay, we're approaching the home stretch here. So be prepared, we're gonna go straight into this. No holds barred. Oh boy, the computer is not happy. We've got a random spot again. Hello. Oh boy, oh boy, the frames. They are not happy with the situation. Let's go ahead and switch into peaceful so we can move again. Please, if I ask nicely. Oh, oh, we have some residual 3,000 meters a second. Okay, we ready? So our base speed is around 2.5 as it should be. Here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Um, we're back up to 42,000? 46,000? Oh, we're, we're holding steady around 46,000. Oh. Goodbye. Um. <laughs> what is going on with my hands? Ah, yes. Well, I, I think it's safe to say that we sufficiently broke reality in Raft, and I'm content with that answer. You know, we put a lot of work into it. That was... This is kind of cursed. Uh, we're just getting more pixelated <laughs> as time goes on. Wait, wait, can I... Can I third person this? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what you want to see. <laughs> oh, good, good. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this adventure into defying reality in Raft, but... That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day and maybe we'll break the laws of physics some other day.